Three, two, one. Hey, it's Wild Josh, and I am joined by Chase, Joa, and Luke. And tonight, we're going to talk about our favorite Nintendo video game. Now, let's get geeky. So, when uh, this this topic was first proposed... Thank you, Joa. Yes. I was like, I can't do it. I can't pick one. It has to be one from each console. Like, how am I going to be able to pick one for all of them? That's too hard. Wait, uh, how? We're not just talking about... Really, huh? We're not talking about franchise. We're talking about individual game. Yeah. yeah. It's one game. Oh! oh there you no. go. Now you understand why oh, it's so no. difficult, Luke. Yeah. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Yeah, so that made it like really hard because I definitely have favorites of each individual console, but one for all. But I thought about it and I came up with one, and it's based on the first uh, feeling I got from like the first five ten minutes of the game, where I was like, I've played this franchise my entire life, and this version of the game is the game I've always wanted. And that is Zelda Breath of the Wild. Like the first five minutes when you climb up the rock wall to get out of that little like temple that you start out in, mm -hmm. which was like something you could never really do in Zelda before. It was like, this is the version of Zelda that I've always wanted. A, ver a, a Zelda where you can go anywhere and do whatever you want and the sky's the limit. And yeah, it just... It really sucked me in, and I played that game really hard for a solid month, probably. And then I went back and played it again after, and and uh, my wife has done the same thing. She's beat it a couple times now, too, and it just has so much replayability and so much time, and, and there's so much you can do in that game. Mm -hmm. It has to be my favorite. And, I'm, and it's really hard because it's like the newest Nintendo console, and I feel like I'm turning my back on so many other... Nintendo things I love, but Zelda has always been my favorite franchise, and of the Zelda games, I'd have to say Breath of the Wild has been my favorite game to play. Easily, no shock, I'm going to follow Josh's footsteps with Breath of the Wild. Um, when I got the game, Josh told me, he's like, oh, good luck, we'll see you in a month when you finally beat it, and I was like, really? And I <laughs> ended up beating it within a few days, and I was like, oh my goodness. And that being said, I haven't completed the game. Like, I beat Ganon, that's all done, but I went back and reloaded my previous save, and I'm just running around, and there's still, like, a million shrines, a million puzzles I have not found. The puzzles in that game are all really fun. I love the open world aspect. Um, it's just, it's so good. I had, Did you get the DLC, even? I didn't get the DLC. I should have. So there's even DLC on top of it. Yeah. You need to get the, the DLC. DLC. But I remember I yeah. loved I loved playing Jedi Fallen Order because that was like the first type of combat that I was like, oh, this is unique and interesting. It's not just spam click as many times as you can. Um, and so when I had seen Breath of the Wild, I was like, oh, hey, this looks really similar. And it is. I think that, <clears throat> if anything, the Breath of the Wild is a little bit harder because it's more timing based, mm -hmm. which is really good. Um, it's it's funny because I think Breath of the Wild's combat is better than Fallen Orders, just because. I, yeah, I like it, I like it more. Approach. Yeah, yeah. It's, know, it's like harder. You, it, it's it, like oh, yeah. I don't really like the one-handed swords. I'm going to use a spear instead. Oh, I don't really like yeah. the spears. I'm going to use a club. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Uh, like there's it's... different types of weapons and things, and um, you could even just find like the flame swords or uh, ice swords that like can freeze or light enemies on fire, like. There's so much to do in that game. There's so much to explore. The combat is all really fun. Um, it's a it's great really story. Funny. I but. first actually got the game only a few months ago. Um, probably like beginning of the winter. I finished it like that week. <laughs> yep. The main, yeah. the whole the main thing. story. Yes. The, so, I, it took I, me I, a couple months to get all the shrines. I yeah. still haven't finished it either. Oh, and I've had so it good. since it came out. Yeah. But there's a reason. Is it because your wife is always playing it? <laughs> nope. Oh. Nope, that's not the reason. The reason is, is because it is also my favorite Nintendo game. Yeah. And I don't want it to end. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So, my one issue, I'm going to go into my one complaint with... Uh, I have two complaints. I have one huge complaint. Ganon's a pushover. Yeah, it was an easy fight. 
Yeah, I'm so like I've the heard. the final boss should I should str- I should have died like a few times. I I didn't die during the Ganon fight. I'm like, huh? What? The 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 way I I it's funny. I've seen a couple of videos where like the way people make that fight challenging. It's like, okay, so most people would go in with the best equipment they have. Okay, I'm gonna fight them using only a stick. Yeah, that's <laughs> they found think, glitches to, to I, make the sticks durability insane. I, I think <laughs> next time I play through, I'm not gonna get any of the divine beasts, and I'm just gonna go in with a bunch of boko spears. Like, <laughs> do it. You should you should uh, record it and do it. <laughs> oh, and and it's, the best part is the uh, the blights as well. If you don't do any of the divine beasts. Mm-hmm. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh. And then you have him with a full health bar. Oh. Yeah. Yep. Okay challenge except yeah, I didn't yeah. have a hard time I did not go I did not stick to the main storyline like right to the end I kind of like traveled around and did a bunch of shrines and 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 went and did some of the storyline here and there and then by the time I got to the end I had like all the good gear and I was pretty much ready for it and mm-hmm. I didn't find it that final boss fight very hard but I did love like no matter how long you play that game you play it for a hundred hours and you'd be like, I got all these mechanics down. Mm-hmm. There's still that guardian that you're going to miss on that block shield block. And he's going to mm-hmm. take you out. Like, yeah, it's, it does take some skill. What? I've seen people on, on YouTube who get it every single time. There's like, what I down. love, what I love about this game the most is just how careful they were to, to balance the aesthetic and the sound and everything to give, they took advantage of because well if these open type of worlds it's really hard not to leave like empty space but they use their empty space in such a way that atmospherically it works mm-hmm. with the theming and the style they're very clever with that down to the very basic piano that you get throughout when as you're exploring the world which just cements that aloneness that that is so instrumental to the to what you're doing i think it's not just a fun, challenging game. It, it's very poignant in the story that they're telling without, like Nintendo does, without actually saying anything. And yeah. I'm really looking forward to the sequel. Oh my goodness. Yes. One of oh, the yeah. stories we get a Breath of the Wild 2. I don't know if they have had a release date announced. No. I keep checking. They don't. <laughs> That's how you know it's my uh, favorite. But... Yeah. The one thing I would say, too, about that game that I wish it would added to the, the longevity of it for me is the ability to like buy a house. You can, um, you can buy a house. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You don't have the house. Go to Hateno village. Yeah. Go to a little house in the back oh, corner. Right. You can buy a house. Oh yeah. my goodness. And then there's a quest line that follows that. Yeah. You're right. Ground oh. yeah. I just, I just finished that actually. <laughs> you're right. You can buy a house. Mm-hmm. It's been a while since I played yeah, the 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 builder got brothers. They all have this son in their name. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, you're right. And then ends off with a, a nice uh, <laughs> now and, uh... expanding on that. I would really like to do more to my house. Yeah, maybe mm. that's what it was. I didn't feel like there was m- much reason to go back to my house after. So you're yeah. saying you want more Animal Crossing in your yeah. Legend want... of Zelda? Oh, that would oh, be nice. Yeah. You know. Well, to some extent. Yeah, I don't know, it kind of feels like that. Like you go around and you're like blowing up stones to get flint and luminous rocks, and I don't know. Mm. The house yeah. doesn't have much point to it aside from novelty. Yeah. Uh, though I did find myself like all the um, the special weapons like you'd get from after defeating the divine beasts, mm-hmm. like the uh, great eagle bow from uh, oh, Revalius. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I put those on the uh, displays in my house. Like uh, I don't cool. know. It's, it's it's a little quaint, you know. Like yeah. I, I'm a I'm a bit of a collector. I'm a completionist mm-hmm. when it comes to these kinds of games, and it's like I don't want to break this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Although you can uh, you can remake any of those with it's... diamond and finding the right person to make it. Yes. Yeah, it's yep. interesting because so I'm very much like I'm glad the armor didn't break, but the the swords. Every time I'd get a good sword, I would just I would use whatever my worst weapon was because I wanted to save everything because I'm like oh again it might be tough. And I, at the end of the game, I had so many weapons that are so good, and I didn't even use them. <laughs> and they're just going to, like, went to waste. I'm like, you mean to tell me I've been using, like, picking up random bo- uh, Boko sticks or Boko clubs this entire time when I could have been using regular weapons? <laughs> oh, my, my strategy was You got to trust just, Nintendo. Like, oh, yeah. 
my strategy was always um every every blood moon just like fight a couple lionels mm. and take their weapons I like and their shots. later in the game if, if you've played a long time in the game the weapons actually scale with you um oh. so like you'll have different bonuses i had a savage lionel club towards the end that had 103 attack power jeez yeah <laughs> But it, it just shows how much longevity the game has, you know? Like, that's how much this, the weapons end up scaling towards the end if you've played a long time. Or you do what I do, and you just you go out and you farm um, the machines, get a bunch of stuff, and manufacture all the ancient arrows you can carry. And then you just... you you It obliterates uh, Lionels with one shot, I believe. Yeah, but it'll destroy any anything. Reason. No, you don't. But it does remove a problem instantly for you. If... <laughs> oh, yeah. I've, I've actually recently... Uh, I started playing um, Master Mode, the DLC, oh. the first DLC oh. pack. Uh, That's hard. I don't... I, I think I just barely got off the Great Plateau. I'm currently... I, I'm actually challenging myself to not use any teleporting in oh, the game. Dear. Uh, and I might have gotten myself soft-blocked in uh, the <laughs> the Zora River, <laughs> oh. I'm like stuck at the bottom of like the uh, Zora's Zora's domain. Like I can't climb up because it's raining. <laughs> oh, and I can't swim across because there's no way up anywhere nearby. Uh, so I I might have to restart mm -hmm. from the Great Plateau all over again. <laughs> But that's just because of a self-imposed challenge. It's mm -hmm. not a problem with the yeah. game. So, yeah. so Joey, did you pick? Did you pick Breath of the Wild as I, well? I did not. Oh, okay. I was um, gonna say. You, you've, been, Wild, you've been talking about it and loving yeah. it so much. I'm thinking maybe you should. Yeah. Breath of the Wild is definitely within my top five. It might even be number two. <laughs> <laughs> but my number one pick is Splatoon Two. Uh, this comes it? as a shock to no one here. This comes as a shock to no one here. <laughs> um, I've actually been doing live streams of my own of Splatoon 2, um, but just playing Wait, through the you, game you, again. You're plugging your own channel here? <laughs> I'm a little bit. It's not like I'm that space. <laughs> <laughs> But it's, it's playing through the game again, uh, the campaign of the game again. Um, like All the little details they add is, is pretty fun. Uh, I just enjoy the gameplay loop. It doesn't get old. It's very addictive. Um, you can, you know, customize your gear however you want. You can uh, use whatever weapon you'd like. Um, and then, like, the the single-player content also. Uh, the initial, like, story campaign does not really serve as, like, how you would think of normal story modes. It's more of a tutorial for the game. You play through the, t the campaign... And as you do, you don't even realize it, but you're getting better. Hmm. You're you're handling the controls easier. Um, I'd say like even the the controls are amazing too. Just to point that out, the motion controls are perfectly tuned. It feels like you're playing keyboard and mouse, which is always, hmm. in my opinion, the best way to play a shooter game. <laughs> um, it gives you that kind of accuracy. Yeah. Um, um... That was so actually, ahead. it's something I, I wanted to mention is that was like one of the goals with the Steam controller is combining motion controls with a with a stick for aiming. You get broad strokes with the stick and then you use the motion controls to fine tune. And I found that very satisfying with Split Tune that they did that very well. If it's carefully done, it can be great joy. If it's done poorly... It can be terrible, <laughs> yes. but gladly I have not had that problem with Splatoon 2, or Splatoon 1 for that matter. Um, I do know it's it's been such a success for Splatoon that even other games have adopted it on the Switch. I know of one specifically, I don't remember the name of it, um, but it, it also adopted the uh, motion control aiming. But it's like, it's got, it's accessible to people who don't like that kind of thing. It allows you to use just the stick, but still... All that aside, I think the game as a whole, it's fun. <laughs> it's enjoyable. It's kept me laughing for hours. As long as you don't get too personal about, like, oh, my entire team threw, you know, like, 
that's gonna happen mm -hmm. just have fun with the ride <laughs> yeah, it's true i've seen i remember when the first splatoon game came out i remember thinking that it looked so fun but i didn't have anything to play it so i never got it and now um joa brought up the news of splatoon 3 a few weeks ago and i'm like okay i'll probably end up getting that so i i 100 percent recommend this series it is a blast to play um i feel like i'm just an advertiser now <laughs> <laughs> i think i've only played it the f i only played splatoon 1 i think and it was very briefly and it was very poorly because i did not know what i was doing and my brother-in-law used to play that game a lot and he was really good at it and yeah so say I, I like the idea of it yeah i i think it's a great concept honestly oh. like the the idea of mm -hmm. like shooters is not really always made complete sense to me like it's supposed to be you know battle simulator kind of thing yeah. but this game it's like you're painting the ground for your team's advantage yeah you can you can take out other enemy players but all it's you really going that to do won't is win you the couple, game it won't win you the yeah. game it's going to give you a couple seconds yeah yeah you yeah. know and I like that um, it's cartoon violence too, so it's not yeah, gory. It's, it's, it's mm, yeah, cartoon it's, violence. That's my favorite thing. It's it's well done, at least it from is. everything that I've seen of it. It it's, looks like it's fun. It's Nintendo's take on a shooter, and it, I find it hilarious. I've seen many memes about this. Uh, Nintendo's aim with Splatoon was to target like the children, you know, their their audience. Like, they succeeded in hooking the adults <laughs> quite mm -hmm. a bit, teenagers. Yeah. Little kids still enjoy playing their Call of Duties or whatever yeah, on their I, Xbox. I feel like... like that kind of is everything that Nintendo has done, though, because I think Pokemon they still try and do towards the younger crowd, and it still ends up being it... you know the kids who played it on their Game Boy, you know, yeah. like the original Game Boy, who are playing all the Pokemons now, and it's a it's a it's a common thing for Nintendo, and a lot of smart companies will do this is to make something that can be played by children, is accessible by everybody, but has enough depth and nuance to still draw in mm -hmm. a more mature crowd. I mean, you look at that with, with Zelda. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a lot of fun. Kids love playing it, but if but if you look for it, there's still, there's still depth there. There's things that you, you can pick up. Yeah, my dad just bought Twilight Princess the other day, so that should Oh, that's such you, a like, good game. Yeah. Such like, a good game. They do a good job making just the series i wish that he could i wish that i had the like the actual switch rather than just the switch light because i feel like if i could put it on the tv my dad would actually play breath of the wild and he'd probably like it mm. but yeah i got the, the the switch version i got my switch before they even had just mm -hmm. the light yeah and yeah so did i, 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 I did because they did, i don't actually use it in the handheld mode as much as i, I thought of. i bought it during the pandemic because i needed something to do and it was impossible to it was nearly impossible to find the light like they yeah. nintendo built a product and, I, then, and then they sold out of that product several hundred times over they they've <laughs> been having trouble keeping that on the shelves just because it's it's so popular yeah um it's ridiculous and they're announcing the release of the Switch. Well, they haven't officially announced it, but there's tons of rumors yeah. going around about the Switch Pro. Um, and I'm looking forward to that because I'm going to upgrade when that comes out. My brother wants to uh, to get that if that and when that comes out because I'm still not convinced it is, but I'm not I'm not really on the loop. I'm trying to avoid really replacing the one I have right there. Like, I think it's like I don't I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. <laughs> I think for me, I, I, need it. I had kind of sworn off consoles. I've never really liked console gaming. I had a PlayStation for a little while. Um, I used my sister's Xbox. But then I've always loved PC gaming because we have Steam. But then Xbox mm -hmm. kind of made all of their stuff available on PC again anyway. Um, so I, really the only exclusives I were missing out on was PlayStation exclusives and Nintendo exclusives. And PlayStation exclusives aren't really designed for me. It's a lot more like shooter games, but I, I'm into racing and puzzles and I don't know. I, I'm into well, a lot more. Probably like Spider -Man game. What was that? Spider-Man game. Like Spider game. It's a good game. Maybe, but I think the, the console that came out with like the most games that I wanted to play was, the, was Nintendo with the Switch. 
So I probably won't ever buy a PlayStation or an Xbox, but whenever they do the Switch 2, as long as they keep making games for it, I'm probably going to get a Switch, another Switch again. Mm. Yeah, I think the, the Switch was a, a great idea as a console and I'm totally off topic here but uh uh be, just because of the the flexibility in it because mm-hmm. you know there's a lot of people like you i was just the same way especially i i got the previous two consoles and by the time the wii u was mm-hmm. failing miserably i was like i'm not gonna get another one i'm yeah i'm gonna wait because i bought uh, i bought the wii and the wii u on release day at midnight because i was excited and then i was disappointed but then the Switch came out. I waited a year, and then I had to pick it up because yeah. And Breath of the Wild was actually the the one that I was like, oh, okay, no, I gotta get this now. I think that's that's the thing with um with consoles is if you get them launch day, there's not a lot of titles for them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. The Wii U had some hidden gems. There, but yeah. most of those came out. Pikmin three. Later yeah. in, Pikmin oh, three. Pikmin. The yeah, original but... Splatoon. Like that was amazing. Um, there, there's plenty of games there. Even like Super Mario 3D Worlds, that was amazing. That was a blast to play. Uh, Mario Kart 8 too. I I prefer Wii, but it's still a great game. Switch version of that. The, most of those games have Switch ports now. Pikmin mm-hmm. 3 recently got ported to the Switch. It hasn't come out yet, though. I don't think did it. No, I don't no, think it has. has. Oh, it, it has? has. I think it did. Oh, I know what I'm doing when I get out. <laughs> <laughs> It actually has, like, extra content, too. Uh, oh, one other I forgot. A Tropical Freeze. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Oh, yeah. That, that got ported onto the Switch with a new funky mode. <laughs> I did play when they ported over the, the Pokemon. Um, it was, I think, red and blue, but they changed it to Eevee or Pikachu. Mm. I played that. That was pretty good. I mean, it was basically just a port with better graphics. What else did they do? Oh, they did a Zelda. I did that one as well. I picked that up. Zelda, that was Link's Awakening. Uh, Skyward Sword. No, it was one. It was Link's Awakening. Yeah, it was on the Game Boy. Yeah, yeah. They, they did oh, that oh, one thing. Yeah. That I no, like... that was. Wasn't that Switch? That was Switch. Link's Awakening. Um, the new, yeah, the like new the weird, Link's Awakening. That weird, is good. Like, Funko Pop looking art style. <laughs> oh, it's it's beautiful. <laughs> and, and they did a fantastic job with the look of that. So one thing I, might, I like I on might... the Switch, I my mom played on my Switch when I got it because I showed her. They have the SNES and NES games. They Absolutely. have a whole bunch of those that you get with the what is it, like online, yeah. their online, online play or yeah. whatever. Um, yeah. My mom is a huge. Already... If my mom was here, her her number one video game, Nintendo video game, would be Doctor Mario. She could <laughs> play that for days on end, probably weeks on end. So they have a Doctor um, Mario cab up at Fun Spot. Yeah, I went with Kyle one time, and Kyle sat there the entire day. Yeah, it was hilarious. He ended with the highest. I think he had like the top three high scores on the machine. Oh He's God. insane. The problem is they change it once they unplug it. Some games don't keep their high scores, so it's it just yeah. It. So but. the Qbert machine there. Um, my friend's mom actually has had the high score on that machine for a very long time. That one doesn't reset. Oh really? Yeah. So. Oh, that's cool. I, think, a hard game. I never was good at it. Yeah. I think my wife has a high score on that one. Does she? Was it Cubert or I think it was Cubert. I'm not 100 percent sure. It's been a long uh, time. My my game of choice at the arcade was always Galaga. I like <laughs> the Galaga machines. I didn't I think I was top eight on the Galaga machine. Oh, I never was but... that good. I just I just liked the shooty bits. <laughs> I sat there one day with Colton, who's been on the podcast before, and him and I just kept playing it. We played it for like probably two or three hours just kind of switching off i would do a run he would do a run kind of thing just sitting there chit-chatting it was nice now we're plugging fun spot but <laughs> yeah and i just remind it just this whole thing has reminded me of my story of how i got my my switch and i don't know if any of you guys were oh listening to the, to the podcast <laughs> back oh. then but um so my friend came over and he had he brought his switch. It was actually Luke, um, who used to be on the podcast, Dark Eagle. He br- brought over brought over his. Uh, I just want to point out that I'm pretty it. sure that um, Luke's wife is saying no to him in oh. the chat. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. You, so, you uh, her favorite game. Yeah, she'll yeah. <laughs> 
I silenced my phone. Let's see what she's telling me. So, Marble Madness. Uh, Luke came and left, and I really wanted to get a Switch. And my wife was like, no, nah, no, nah, we don't need a Switch. So around the same time, I decided to grow a mustache. And uh, a couple months after I started growing this mustache was my sister's wedding, and I was in it. And it became a controversy that I had a mustache for her wedding. So um, uh -oh. I was being forced to shave it, but I wasn't going to go. I was like, I'll shave it if I can get a Nintendo Switch. And uh, so basically, <laughs> I, I, had, I got rid of my mustache, but I ended up getting a Nintendo Switch. So it was all uh, That was yeah. undoubtedly and, and, and a net game. Sacrifice. Yes. <laughs> so apparently my uh, my wife is saying it was Marble Madness she had the high score on in Fun Spot. Oh, okay. I did not have a high score on I love Fun Spot, man. Campus. I can't wait till COVID I know. is over. Luke and I were talking about it the other day because he doesn't live that far away. I'm like, next time, as soon as it's open, we need to just go. We should just do a Geek Center uh, Fun Spot event. Rent like, it out, yeah. Like, Brett is probably not that far from where he where he is up in Maine. Brett. Like, Logan said that by the time it's open, he'll have his license and he's going to come down. Yeah. Oh, man. That'd be so much fun. Yeah. Or isn't, totally, is Ryan totally in his hall? We'll just have Ryan drag him. Mm hmm. Ryan's up there with him, yeah. Yeah. Just have him drive him or down. Or Brett. They're all in the same area. They like, all live in the same town. Yeah. But if you're, if you're going to come down to Fun Spot, you got to swing by the Keller house and get some come ice cream. down? Is that down for you? No, not really. Oh, okay. It's it's down for it's, down for the mayors, but it's called a colloquialism. It's broadly come speaking. On down. <laughs> come come on round. Down. You come round to Fun Spot. You gotta go to Keller House and get ice cream. That's. I've never been to Keller House, but I've drove driven past it a million times. They have make your own ice cream Sundays there. Fantastic. Hmm. I tend to go up there when no one else is up there. They also yeah. have a, um, a coin operated automatic piano, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I usually stay away from Winnipesaukee in the summer because yeah, it's, it's just I, I, don't, I don't have a choice. Yeah. I don't have a choice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you and go now to the fun spot in the summer it is just madhouse. So the, my... come in the fall. That's the best time. Yeah, my yeah. game at Fun Spot is a uh, Battle Zone. I set the high score on that every single time I go because it always resets. But Battle Zone. Why can't I think of what Battle Zone? It's like is? the tank game. Um, oh. you're in a tank and you get a viewport and you have to like look around and you have like controls left heard, and right to yeah I remember wow. that I was I was awful at that yeah I usually skip that cap it's it used to be a lot better one of the joysticks doesn't really work anymore and they haven't fixed it <laughs> so it makes well, it very difficult but yeah. I mean maintaining those cabinets is pretty tough oh yeah because I can't imagine, like, maintaining that right. entire upper floor has to be insane. I I honestly think that they, they buy out cabinets whenever they show up on, on like, eBay and stuff, and they, they part them if they don't work, and so I think they just keep yeah. a, a supply of them. <clears throat> my, um, Amy's father, my wife, she, uh, she grew up in an arcade because they used to run one back when she was really little, so. Locally? She, uh, in, yeah, it had to have been out, uh, Western New Hampshire. Okay. Back, back when there were actually were arcades around. <laughs> oh, my wife is saying it's not hard to maintain those cabinets. Just getting into parts, perhaps? Where I would have paid good money to get a Dig Dug cabinet. <laughs> I love Dig Dug. It's such a good game. I Wait, still how did we, get, we were talking about our favorite Nintendo games. Now we're talking about arcade games, <laughs> right? <laughs> we're all over the place. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Here, have and, a segue. Did you know Nintendo used to make arcade games <laughs> and cabinets? Yeah, <laughs> they, they still do, I think. Um, yeah. Mario Kart Arcade GP. Anyone? Uh, no Never heard of that one? Wow. Nope. No. I don't even had Pac-Man in it. Hmm. Nintendo trivia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So I think I, that's I, pretty much it. I, I, actually, else I actually did have one more thing to add that I just thought of um, yeah. on my favorite game, Splatoon 2. <laughs> um, the DLC for that game. I forgot about this. I forgot to talk about this. The DLC is fun, challenging, entertaining. If you don't have it and you have Splatoon 2, you should get it. That's oh. all. <laughs> that's all I will say. It's, it's much better than the, the, the base games campaign. <laughs> I'd, I'd have to start playing it again before I'd spend any more money on it. 
it's it's worth it. It's worth it. Oh, we'll just have to get together and play sometime. Yes, we, yes, we will. And, and record it. And then record it. Yeah. All right. So next week, we don't know what we're going to be talking about yet. Falcon we'll have Soldier. No, that's the week after. I oh, just did looked you up say it was the week after? Just, right. Yeah, it comes out. The first episode releases on March 19th, which would not be this Friday. It would be the following Friday. So that means it wouldn't be next Monday. It would be the following gotcha. Monday. We'll be talking about oh. Falcon and Winter Soldier, episode one. Sure. Yeah, I, I saw that. What are your guys' thoughts on that, lining up for that? Unless you guys have already talked about it. Um, We did do a video on the trailer. A video on the trailer. Yeah, we're pretty excited about it, for sure. Hopefully, it goes... Uh, Not the way of WandaVision. Know. Yeah, I'm just hoping for more of a... Normal. Less Harry Potter, more uh, superheroes. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. But we'll see. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And also subscribe to our channel so you're always notified when we put up new live streams or new videos. And until next time, courage needs not to be remembered, for it is never forgotten. Wow. You must really hate balloons. Hey, yeah!